so I gotta get up and do something today so I might as well make a outside video had nothing to do so uh, the the bias brothers are at it again so there's a video you know Aberrant Preach always avoids things that gonna hurt the feelings of their base fan base and they're never really uh, fair and down the middle and I don't know why I, I thought I didn't I thought I was unrecommended unrecommended them in my in my mentions but for some reason they popped up after like three four months more longer than that where I didn't want to see these dudes so it popped up on my news feed and I looked at it and it has a video of a bunch of white girls saying they love black men so you already know what it was about it was lusting after black dudes the BBC guys the guys who's tall the athletes or whatever but um I try to go on um Auburn preach video catalog to show the black women getting mad at the white guy for dating his own race and not dating them and it's not on there they don't have no opinion about that. But for some reason, they got an opinion about white women liking black men. Or showing their, you know, their aberration for black men. Now, if we're going to do it on both sides, we do it on both sides. You're going to be fair, you be fair. But you just can't point out how cringe it is for white girls to say they love black men. Because we all know it's obvious they're, you know, fetishizing and lusting after BBCs and what the black women created and put us out there for. Because let's be real, this is the reason why a lot of these, these fucking females out here, even the so-called good ones, have a bunch of kids by the same dudes that the white women are going after. I told y'all before in my video, that's why, that's why when somebody talk, when somebody suggests that you stay in America and you date, you date other races here, I kind of like said, no, this is the kind of shit that you're going to run into where they'll be just looking for the BBC hit and they won't like you because you won't fulfill that role that they, they want so bad. Like That's why a lot of guys are uh, traveling now. Cause they tired of this stereotype and bullshit that's happening here and they can go somewhere else learn another language and kind of be misunderstood but they won't run into the same problems that they do here plus you're going to be an anomaly you're going to be a rarity instead of something that is fetishizes or whatever right my videos i was told the to dot to, did not talk about that and there was a reason why I was talking about the BBCs and shit like that and the porn stars and all that. Because eventually, black men always go lead to that because, you know, everybody lead by example. Everybody went after black men because, for the fortunate thing, because black women put black men in the, in the, in the category of just being utilities and being used for sexual needs and then the other races got jealous and said well we want that too so so it's funny that Abba and Preach got a problem with a bunch of white women saying they love black men 
but don't have a problem and don't have a video on a bunch of black women getting mad at a white man for traveling in 50 states to date. And it's funny to me that the St. Blues guy, he didn't have nothing really bad to say about the guy who traveled 50 states and how much money that dude had to spend. Or, you know, Super Sly didn't make a video about that either. At least he stayed out of the passport shit this time. So, it's kind of funny. Also, to another point, I told you to stop messing with these team. I mean, I, I don't really tell you anything. But I told you the reason why most men won't pay for pay for anything over here when it comes down to women because a lot of these chicks don't know how to keep their fucking mouth shut and we live in a tea culture exposed culture so i think adam levine end up with some kind of instagram model she gets mad at the the deal that she was a throwaway and she goes to expose him for cheating now imagine that you are a red pill guy because this can happen to any man now imagine that right you go to vegas and you pay eight thousand dollars to to have sex with eight women so-called women in, in, in Las Vegas. Or you pay, you just go all over the United States and pay, right? Imagine uh, you chilling and you a YouTube creator, you, you create uh, content, and then you got opinions about women with your red pill content. So everybody that you paid to keep their mouth shut or whatever, they all come together and say, you graped them. Now, that's not far-fetched of what they will, they will probably do because you said something to offend them because the same shit happens to Heavenly Controller, an anime YouTuber who had allegations thrown at him. And then after that, his ex-girlfriend chimed in and then two more women chimed in. And then all of his friends, the dudes that he thought was cool with him, end up, you know, turning on him and saying some over shit. When it found out that he was clear of all the shit, the chick was lying. She was cheating, she was trying to cheat on her boyfriend with Heavenly Controller because she wanted to get with Heavenly Controller because he was a big YouTuber and her boyfriend wasn't. Everybody tried to be his friend and he cut everybody off. He cut most of them off and he ain't fuck with them no more. And most of their channels pretty much ain't recovered from that. And people even called them out, even recent videos of these guys who threw Heavenly Controller under the bus. They was like, yeah, you should have you thought twice before you threw Heavenly Controller under the bus. They said, yeah, we, we live and we learn, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't live and learn, man. This, this situation's been out here for years. You could have you could have learned from other people's situations. Everybody got him, and heavily controller now have to have to keep his reins tight and have to not hang out with certain people anymore. Because as soon as women came in allegations, well, all his so-called friends that was around him partying up, well, <laughs> they ditched him and threw him under the bus. That's anime community, the gaming community as well. And everything else so I find it absolutely funny that uh, you still these guys still trying to tell you what to do with your private area and what's good for you and what's bad for you you know Reg the bad guy with his low ass views now <laughs> you know Guys like him and most of the manosphere, they don't get it no more. That they burn their bridges 
the more shit that they were saying and more shit they talked about. Same thing with a lot of guys. Same thing with a lot of guys calling out SBE. And these guys retreated on their, uh, their so-called website and put it behind a paywall. Same thing with uh, Mad Black Anime. Remember that guy who, what, two years ago he got banned from YouTube? He got banned from YouTube and he got banned from Twitch. He got, and they, they basically IP banned him. So he can't create, a, he couldn't create a new, he can't create a new uh, anything because they know his ID, uh, his, um, his IP. So he's gone. And they did the same thing to him. Well, I think they told him, they, they get him a short leaf on Twitch. So he made his own website. He made his own website and uh, <laughs> tried to put a paywall behind it. All the while, this dude was making fun of people, calling people broke, saying he had a, he's saying he has a, uh, he, he has a, 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 a business. So this guy's talking about how much of a businessman he is and how he got a business and he don't need YouTube money and uh, how everybody live with their mom. seen in real live view of a black woman going crazy dude in the car just asked her a simple question she get an attitude and start arguing with him. yeah that's philly this is why motherfuckers are telling you to go outside well, that's what's outside shit like that People taking their anger out on anybody else but the people who made them angry. So, <laughs> huh, that was a, a, a fucked up occurrence. <laughs> so, um, your boy Mad Black Anime showed himself to be a fucking hypocrite and to be just a just a bully, pretty much an internet bully. And that's the reason why he was got kicked off, not because he had a back and forth with uh, uh, who that guy named the the, the Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball uh, content creator. Um, they kicked him off because all he did was bully people and talk shit about people, and he wouldn't stop. For somebody who supposedly have a career. A wife and he get put he get vagina he got kids and all this he's still trying to stay online I mean once he got kicked off YouTube I thought he was gonna just leave and never come back people got <laughs> people screenshotted his videos copied his videos and then uploaded them YouTube and showed just how how far he fall how far how far he fell all that saying you don't give a shit about your subscribers and uh, saying I don't care y'all don't like me and none of this stuff as soon as you get kicked off YouTube you try, <laughs> You trying to come back to YouTube just like that little just like Tommy Sotomayor <laughs> And the reason why I'm laughing at both of them is because both of them marry each other One said they was better than the YouTube one one of them said that it was better than everybody online And then talked about people's and, and sex shame people and girl shame people Didn't the, the other guy? Talked about red pillars and shit. End up getting punched in the face on live by a girl, uh, a girlfriend. Uh, well, a girl that he tried to sleep. Well, he did sleep with her friend. She got jealous and it ended up him being punched in the face. Then he became so obsessed with uh, going after Kwame Brown that he let that shit override him instead of just letting that shit go making a couple videos on him. He tried to monetize the beef and end up getting kicked off for it. That Kwame Brown shit, 
he ain't he ain't as popping as he used to be. Same thing with you know Tommy Sotomayor is not not online no more. Well, he on he on OnlyFans. It's funny how a lot of people fall. The same the the the, the most people who talk shit about somebody else, just like an Ibra and Preach, or should I call them, uh, the Bias Brothers. Just like them, they all got something hiding behind it. Just like Ethan Klein, who turned around was talking about incels, but everybody know the reason why he, he has a wife and she's not that attractive is because he has money. And if he didn't have that money, she wouldn't even be married to him. Same thing with the vegan games guy. How crazy he looked and his girl was cheating on him and shit. Even though he was so-called big, muscular. Right? A lot of people got a lot of shit to hide. But the people who got something to hide in real life, that's their personal business. But the people who out here just trashing people, talking shit, talking down to people, talking to all this shit, and it's like, no, man, you got something to hide. We just gonna find out. Just like how Rudent was out here talking a lot of greasy shit about everybody, talking about red pill men, talking about how he get women. Then his, then his whole, then his whole uh, jail record came out. Him being a a, 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 a young Apple abuser when he was 12 years old to a six year old. And then you had the same women who was talking about Kevin Samuels and talking about the, talking about the manosphere now protecting them. But these are the same women who said we was doing damage in the black community. Like I said, everybody's full of shit, man. And your boy Super Slide didn't make one video about your Super Slide didn't make one video about Rude Dimp and him being in the space. But he did make a video about Game Changer. And to go on about Game Changer. So I think uh, Man of Tomorrow had a disagreement with Game Changer. And I don't know, I don't think they fell out in none of that, because I you know, uh, man, I watched Man of Tomorrow. He he has he has morals and honor. I seen him give uh, C Boogie the benefit of the doubt and uh, um, C Boogie the benefit of the doubt and uh, Super Slide the benefit of the doubt. He let them, he let them, uh, what you call it? He let them um, try to prove themselves to see if they was actually cool. And then once they showed, once they saw that they was not cool and they was on the opposite side of him, he completely like, you know, but like, nah, man, I don't mess with y'all. I know what y'all are about. So I think that's, the, I think we on that stage with uh, Game Changer. Because Game Changer and him got it, in, uh, got in it, into it with, uh, not really into it, but they got a disagreement on something about the traveling and stuff. And um, I don't know. Like I said, Game Changer is a, a he, he didn't uh, he didn't learn from his situation that he had with that girl when she accused him of great. And he bring another girl around him, which was uh, Jessica X. And Jessica X fool, <laughs> Jessica X. <laughs> Jessica X made everybody who loved her, who liked her, look like clowns. Even known guys who was hanging around her looked like fucking clowns. Because she didn't even respect y'all enough to cam up at least one time. Just to show that y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't as much fools as to believe in her. But <laughs> y'all wanted to talk about everybody else, just like did that Jerome Whiteside. <laughs> Also, because Melanie King took her spot, because Melanie King is an attractive chick who shows herself. She she got surgeries because everybody saw who she what she looked like before she got surgeries. But at least she's attractive, and that's the standards of uh, something that you'll never see Jessica X do. But y'all niggas look stupid. In these last two years, nearly three years. A lot of shit was exposed. Then your boy Kuda is in Thailand thinking that game gonna work. And well, 
Good luck with that. Uh, I don't like being right. I always want to be wrong sometimes, but when you always write about people and write about things, it gets kind of boring. And you got to find creative ways to basically spice up life. So, but <laughs> yeah, I'm at the point right now. It, it, it's, a, it's funny to look at all these situations happen in one, roll up in one. <laughs> you got, you got, you know, everybody ignoring the rude dim shit, but they was on Game Changer head. You know, <laughs> when he had a sexual allegation because they didn't like what he said about black women, then the same dude, super sly, he got his little minion dude to do all that dirty work shit. And he looks stupid now because the passport shit went down. And I saw the viewership went down for Minister Jack, just like it did for Coach Greg Adams. When he talked about passport, then he came back and act like he was on passport side. And that young, young guy, the young kid, Aaron or, or, or Aaron is asking for 70 grand for, to travel the world. I mean, I, 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 that's that's his business. But I wouldn't be going here go making a GoFundMe if you had your shit together. And uh, I would never ask for that much money unless I'm trying to spread that shit out to everybody else. Not about myself. Like I said before, if I ever do, if I ever ask for any type of money online, nine times out of ten, when I get this, when I get the shit and, and the limit of what I need or whatever, it will be given back <laughs> to anybody. I did it before, and I'll do it again. But uh, it's an, it, I don't know. And then they made a habit of talking about it on Reg the Bad Guy. So like I said, in in today's world, downloading is a key thing of everything. <laughs> but hey. When you can download uh, two seasons of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, in two seasons of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in uh, three hours, then you means you got a fast internet or you know, yeah, fast internet. But sometimes it's kind of redundant to just sit back and wait. Like I'm, I'm on the MOT side. Let these women take these guys for what they are, what, what they have. Let them fuck them up in court. They think pumping dump is gonna save their dumb asses, and they think that you know having so-called evidence and all this shit is gonna save them without that, without that lawyer's fee that they're gonna have to pay for a woman's lies. Let them think that shit, man. Let them bury themselves. I don't feel sorry for any of them no more. Uh, I've been not feeling sorry for him, but like I said, I'm on the rip of MOT stuff because you know he spits he spit real facts. But I was like that before. I said that before. I don't care. Like it's good to have somebody else have that same sentiment that somebody can say it out loud. Because at some point I was like, man, I don't feel feel right saying that out loud by saying, you know, let these let these women take advantage of these dudes. Because whatever, whatever these women, whatever these dudes pick when it comes down to women, that's the kind of person who they really are. If she a hood rat or fucks them over or all that shit, that's the kind of person. It was, a, it was an easy way to deal with somebody like that. You could at least, you know, did it in a different way. Everybody so-called so got game and everybody out here losing with women, letting women scream, hitting them in the face. I mean, you know how many guys are being dropped like flies by their by their girlfriends now. <laughs> so, you know, I said this before to anybody out here, so your so-called incel or virgin or whatever, man, just be happy you are like that. Cause these niggas are getting killed out here, left and right by their little girlfriends. Are they getting set up? Are they letting these girls get them into situations where? 
they come they're trying to come to the rescue and they end up getting in a, in, a, in a wheelchair or on the ground so you know be thankful that you ain't in that situation it's a lot of shit going on for the past literally two almost three years now so it was a it was a hell of a ride right now i don't i don't even think it's gonna go normal yet because we still dealing with the monkey pox people still getting sick from covid it's just now they hiding it more and uh a family member died from them one of them a family member of mine died from that vaccine bullshit and uh, pretty much it's a family member that I don't like, per se. And uh, she did some, some grimy shit to, to, to my family or to, to me and my mom, like, like almost 15 years ago or whatever. And I never wanted her around me at all. Then I found out I had family in the city that I didn't know about that hit me, that, that hit somebody up and tried to contact me. And then my mom contacted me and said, told me about my, what, cousin or something being killed or something like that in, in the shooting or something. Uh, it was on TV or something like that. So, uh, two family members that I know that I, well, that I don't know, that I don't even, you know, I don't even know they exist. I ain't seen my family on, on mo most of my life. I ain't care about them. The only time I saw my family was my grandma funeral. And that was back in 2000 and, uh, 2002. No, 2002, 2003. My grandma passed away. And uh, that's the only time that I seen my family. So for, for people that know, yeah, some people cut their family off pretty early. Or so they don't deal with their shenanigans. And all the stories I was told about my family, I'm glad that I stayed the hell away from them. And never talked to them ever again. Like I said, I didn't even know I had family in the city. But uh, yeah, two family members got passed away, which I ain't, I ain't gonna say I don't care, but like I said, I'm indifferent for it. Because uh, the, the, the woman who did it, she, you know, made my life difficult for a couple years. Doing whatever slimy shit she did. But I let that go once she passed away. And the other one, my so-called cousin, I don't know her. But, uh, so I can't say anything about her. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's incredible. It, it's, it's crazy. And, j and last year... No, two two of my friends, they got killed by a piece of shit dude when they was working in a store. So, and, and, and y'all know about in 2021, I mean 2020, when I got almost got ran up on. So yeah, man, it's been some chaotic bullshit. But yeah, go outside, go outside, go outside. Go outside, yeah, sure. Go outside, <laughs> and they, and y'all y'all want to blame incels and and and, and y'all want to sit back and say mad, mass shooters and shit like that when the most niggas is that that's doing all the shooting is the the the, the, the thug niggas and the uh, the thug niggas and the uh, and the uh, rappers and shit, man. Your boy PN 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 PNP Rock, whatever the dude name is. End up getting killed, then another rapper got killed. But y'all wanna talk about incels. <laughs> y'all niggas are y'all niggas are menace to society, but y'all wanna talk about how incels are mass shooters, or they the next next mass shooters. Nigga, half of you niggas are half of your street niggas are, the, are mass shooters. They just they just do it on a smaller scale. They no not none they not mass shooters, they they serial killers. They kill multiple people, but y'all niggas are still the bitches are still sleeping with them, and y'all niggas are still listening to their music. Come on now, be real. You're fucking hypocrites. Y'all some hypocrite ass niggas. All around the space. And 
it, it did the whole space change. I, I don't listen to anybody. And you know, MOT is seeing what I see from Game Changer. Cause I said it before, it's like last year or 2020, about him being this kind of dude who don't give up and just want to sit here and, and talk, 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 talk to these women and not do anything. And he said something about, he said the same shit about, uh, he said something about, he said the same shit, the same sentiment that uh, Obsidian said, I think a few years ago, about, you know, you gotta talk out the issues in order for something to change or something like that. And it's like, MOT made the point was like, why don't you just get away from them? And basically, you know, uh, Game Changer already proved the point that he can't leave these women alone no matter how problematic they are because he want to have sex with them. And that showed me his kind of, his laziness and it shows me that kind of like, basically, the shit that he's preaching, he don't believe it. Like ever since what, 2020? I stopped messing with anybody. And that's what, before 2020. Cause I saw a pattern of, of the Asian chicks that I was dating and shit. Wasn't no racist stuff. It was kind of like, ugh. But yeah, man. <laughs>